Welcome to episode. Sorry. Welcome to episode Damage TV. I am Damage Creator, and today I am going to teach you how to make your very own containers using old paint containers. Um, these were really old paints that dried up and everything. Um, you can use any containers, any size, any shape, any form, I guess, and make it so nice that you could just put your makeup and you won't even remember that these are paint containers uh, I have at least six of them I cut like half of them to kind of give you a concept so I might do all six I might not I might just do these but I have really like did did them did them but I might do this like for a vlog or whatever, so that's probably next after I'm done with this. But let's go ahead and get started with the three videos we have in our hand right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started. We're going to bring the camera down. First thing you want to do, you want to take a knife like this and you want to get rid of most of the stuff that you can. That was like kind of around the sides and everything. Uh, so I did that for this one and for this one. Not so much for this one because more of it was kind of like on the side and kind of stuck. So um, a good example would be for these three. These are the ones that have the most of them. So what you would do is you would take a knife like this and you would just start taking out the little pieces like that. Or they just fall out like that. If they fall out like that, then you're good. Keep going. Until it's completely all out. Okay, so yeah, this just won't be difficult to get out. Alright, so we eliminate that. There's also some on the top too. So if you were to do it like that with the knife, that would be pretty pretty good. So just take the chunks that you know you can't like wash off or wipe away. Keep going. Like that. Keep going. Now, if you're doing this correctly, it should look close to something like this. Like, they should be completely empty, like that, if you did it correctly. Um, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take a piece of paper towel, rip that up, you can fold it, do whatever you want, it's up to you. Take some acetone, nail polish remover, dip into the remover, and one by one, remove the rest of the um, paint so like that And especially if there's like it's a lot of paint like right in here, you go right inside and you just start removing the paint. Or if it's like a lot, you can squeeze out the excess right inside before it dries out. Take another piece of paper towel and begin to wipe because acetone dries very quickly. So you just keep going like that. Okay. 
You might need to get more of the acetone. So go ahead and take it and just keep going until it's completely removed. Because it does take a while to remove most of the acetone that's probably in the cup. If you have a dry paper towel, excuse me, here's an itchy, dry paper towel, go ahead and wipe off that excess. And what was like kind of loose, go ahead and take that knife and take it out. So let me do this and I'll be right back. The next thing you would do is you will begin to kind of continue to clean until it's completely clear. Um... Me personally, I think these two came out pretty good. This one still needs a little bit of work, so we're going to have to work on that. So what we're going to do right now is um, we're going to cut these two. Since they're cleaner. And leave these for like a separate project. You want to cut the little sides off that was connecting all three containers because you want to keep them as separate as possible unless you want them together for like a little trio thing, of course. And you will just keep cleaning until it's completely clear. You might need to get another paper towel, fold it in half, dip it in the acetone that I have over to the side of my chair. Oh, which, which one would that do? This one. And you gotta be careful with certain plastic, like certain plastic, like what kind of would be this close to melting if it were to be contacted with any type of acetone. So you gotta be careful. I'm gonna do this part. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Now I'm gonna do the other three off camera. And this one. But if you did it correctly, it should look something like this. Completely clear of any of the paint that was in there. Or you could do this with a Q tip. I've seen this done with a Q tip before. Um, but if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.